What would happen if a King Cobra and a Komodo Dragon met and had to fight? Who would be stronger and win this fight? The King Cobra Snake is the largest venomous snake in the world. Several people die from the bite of the King Cobra each year. A King Cobra's scientific name is Ophiophagus Hanna. The Greek word Ophiophagus means snake eating, and Hanna is a reference to a Greek myth about tree dwelling fairies. Komodo dragons are large Indonesian lizards, famous for their voracious appetite. These imposing reptiles sport a venom laden mouth, a set of sharp teeth, and a keen sense of smell. What's even more impressive? They are the largest living lizard species. The name comes from rumors that a dragon like creature lived on the Indonesian island of Komodo. How do they look? A full grown king cobra is yellow, green, brown, or black. They usually also have yellowish or white crossbars or chevrons. The throat is light yellow or cream colored. The king cobra is regarded as a fierce and aggressive snake, and its length and size give it an awe-inspiring appearance. The king cobra's deadly fangs are almost 0.5 inches, 8 to 10 millimeters long. Because they are fixed to the upper jaw, they have to be short. If they were longer, they would penetrate the floor of its mouth. The king cobra's average size is 10 to 12 feet, 3 to 3.6 meters, but it can reach 18 feet, 5.4 meters. The Komodo dragon is the largest and heaviest lizard in the world. These lizards have a venomous bite. Within their mouths, Komodo dragons have 60 serrated teeth and a long, yellow forked tongue. Komodo dragons have a tail as long as their body. Their skin is usually gray in color, reinforced by armored scales, which contain tiny bones called osteoderms that function as a sort of natural chainmail. Additionally, these osteoderms become more extensive and variable in shape as the Komodo dragon ages, ossifying more extensively as the lizard grows. These wild dragons typically weigh about 154 pounds, 70 kilograms, but the largest verified specimen reached a length of 10.3 feet, 3.13 meters, and weighed 366 pounds, 166 kilograms. Males tend to grow larger and bulkier than females. Where do they live? King cobras live in parts of Southeast Asia, southern China, and India. Their habitat includes forests, bamboo thickets, streams, and swamps. These snakes live in a warm, humid climate. They spend most of their time in trees blending into the dense, leaf-filled branches. They sometimes hang down from a tree branch to capture another snake. These reptiles can swim fairly well and have been seen moving along through the water. When the weather cools off in late fall and winter, king cobras migrate to dens to stay warm. Komodo dragons are limited to a few Indonesian islands of the Lesser Sunda group, including Rincha, Pada and Flores, and of course the island of Komodo, the largest at 22 miles, 35 kilometers long. Adult Komodo dragons live mainly in tropical savanna forests. They prefer open lowland areas with tall grasses and bushes, but are also found in other habitats such as beaches, ridgetops, and dry riverbeds. What do they eat? When in danger, the king cobra will also hiss and flatten its neck ribs into a hood. It will assume an upright posture without the hood extended in order to see over bushes or tall grasses. A bite delivers venom from glands attached to the fangs. Within minutes, neurotoxins stun the prey's nervous system, especially the impulses for breathing. 
The king cobra normally restricts its diet to cold-blooded animals, particularly other snakes. The snakes eaten by the king cobra are mostly the larger, harmless species, such as Asian rat snakes, diamonds, and pythons. They may also dine on venomous Indian cobras, crates, and even small king cobras. Komodo dragons are carnivores and mainly feed up on carrion. They also hunt and ambush prey such as invertebrates, mammals, and birds. To catch prey that is out of reach, Komodo dragons are able to stand on their hind legs and use their tails as support. They have also been known to use their tails to knock down large deer and pigs. Komodo dragons eat by tearing large chunks of flesh and swallowing them whole, while holding the carcass down with their forelegs. Because of their slow metabolism, large dragons can survive on as little as 12 meals a year. Because the Komodo dragon does not have a diaphragm, it cannot suck water when drinking, nor can it lap water with its tongue. Instead, it drinks by taking a mouthful of water, lifting its head, and letting the water run down its throat. How do they behave in the wild? Though this snake has a reputation for being aggressive, it actually has a shy nature. It would rather steer clear of people and other animals, if possible. It's considered a solitary reptile. However, when they are seen together during breeding season, the group is called a quiver. Some people say that a king cobra's hiss sounds a lot like a dog's growl. The Komodo dragon spends the first few years of its life in the trees. This protects them from being eaten by other predators, especially cannibalistic adult Komodos. Their nights are spent sleeping in burrows which they dig. Like most monitor species, they are very effective swimmers and can use this as an efficient means of escape from predation. They use vocalizations, mainly a hiss. This is used as a defensive signal and is used during feeding, attacks, and by females when mating. Now it's time for the big fight. So what happens if a Cobra King is forced to fight a Komodo dragon? This is yet another question about something that is speculation, since the geographic ranges of these animals don't overlap. No one really knows if the Komodo dragon would try to eat the King Cobra. If it could avoid being bitten, it's possible. However, the Komodo dragon has very tough skin, so it's possible that the king's venom could not sufficiently cause envenomation. Another possibility, which is unlikely in my opinion, since they wouldn't meet in nature, is that the Komodo dragon has an immunity to king cobra venom. I bring this point up because Komodo dragons are related to monitor lizards, and they have been found to have a level of tolerance to cobra venom. However, the King Cobra, while still an elipid, is in a different genus than normal cobras. So if the Komodo dragon was inclined to attack a King Cobra, and was able to avoid being bitten, and had an immunity to the King's venom, and had skin too tough for the Cobra's fangs to penetrate, probably the Komodo dragon would win. If none of these conditions existed, then a bite from the King Cobra would surely kill it, because the king easily packs enough venom to kill an animal that size. However, even if the lizard succumbed to the venom, it would have ample opportunity to not only kill the cobra, but eat it as well. So in this second fictional scenario, they both would die. There was a video of a viper biting a Komodo dragon and having no effect. While King Cobras and Komodo Dragons live in different places, there are areas where Cobras and Monitor Lizards do coexist. And these Monitor Lizards are fine with eating the Cobras, no matter how much they try to bite them. For the same reason a Viper doesn't affect a Komodo Dragon. So, between the Komodo Dragon being basically impervious to a Viper Bite, and other Monitor Lizards being impervious to Cobra Bites, and the Komodo dragon being the biggest and toughest monitor lizard of them all, 
I assumed that the Komodo dragon would easily eat the King Cobra, and the King Cobra would not be able to harm the Komodo dragon. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.